In this video, we're looking at the ASUS ProArt PX13 and the HP Omen Transcend 14, two slim form factor laptops that would make a great laptop for video editing, graphic design, digital art, photography, and some 3D modeling. Also, if you're a gamer, this would be great devices for you as well for the occasional gaming on the side. Now, the first thing to consider, of course, is gonna be the build quality, usability, and the design of the laptop. And then we will go ahead and get into the performance benchmarks and the other supporting elements of each of these chassis. Now, the first thing I wanna look at is of course, the form factor. And you can see here that being that the Omen is a 14 inch device versus the 13 inch of the ProArt, you're gonna have a more consolidated package in the ProArt device. However, you will be compensating by getting a smaller screen. You're gonna have both a vertical and a horizontal of about a quarter inch smaller on the screen. So you can see right there, about a quarter inch on the vertical, and you can see about a quarter inch on the horizontal. So you're definitely gonna lose a little bit of that screen real estate. But as far as the weight and thickness is concerned on both of these devices, you can see that the Omen is just slightly thicker. And then as we go ahead and pull the two up, the weight is, is nearly the same. So a tiny bit thicker on the Omen, nearly the same weight on both of the devices. So they'll fit nicely in any 13 inch backpack. Now going ahead and taking a look at the ports, that's one area that the PX13 really stands out above the HP Omen. You can see we have HDMI, power adapter, USB-C, and our headphone jack. On the left side of the HP Omen, USB-C headphone jack. On the back side, we have two additional ports for the Omen, no ports for the ProArt, USB-C and HDMI. And then for the other side of the devices, USB type A's for the HP Omen, USB-A, USB-C, and a micro SD card reader for the PX13. So really the advantage of choosing the PX13 is going to be the addition of the micro SD card reader and a dedicated power adapter. So you're not hogging one of your USB-Cs with a charger because there's only two USB-Cs on the HP Omen where you have two in the ProArt, but you have a dedicated charger port for the PX13. So those two USB-Cs remain available to you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the assembly of these two laptops here. You can see one thing that stands out is they both have very nice rounded edges. The way the bottom cover fits into the side panel all the way around the chassis. So that's really nice. Um, when it comes to the PX13 versus the P16 from ASUS ProArt, the back of the P16 has kind of a sharp edge here and it doesn't round off very nicely. So I love that the PX13 and the HP Omen have these nice rounded designs. It makes holding the device more comfortable, more of a complete design. I really like how they've done that here. Now, as we go ahead and look at the vents on the bottom, you can see the fans sticking through two spots on the bottom, and it looks as if there's a full vent on the Omen. However, there's a piece of plastic that runs through here on the bottom cover, and therefore these two spots are the only spots that are actually open for this vent along the bottom so the fans can get through. Same thing here, we have this ridging, but you can see that the actual openings are just here. And then we have a little bit of fan uh, distribution here along the back of the vent. We have a little bit along the back side for both of the laptops as well. So you can see we have about the same for the ventilation and fans on these two laptops. Now let's go ahead and look at the thermals real quick for these two devices. And then I want to talk about the upgrade path. So for the thermals, one thing I want to point out is that the maximum graphics power on the HP Omen is 65 watts. That is the maximum amount of power that's being sent to the GPU. And the maximum graphics power for the PX13 is 95 watts. And that's going to be a big advantage later in the benchmarks. But for now, the HP Omen has an advantage of being a cooler and quieter device. So running the test, what I did is I took a 4K export, placed it in Premiere Pro, and exported it out at full quality settings. The PX13 managed that at 55 decibels of fan noise on full performance mode with a 75 degrees Celsius. Actually very respectable for a you know performance level gaming and creator device. Now, as you go ahead and look at the HP Omen, however, you're going to have 40 decibels of fan noise, so far more quiet and managed, and 58 to 62 degrees Celsius for that export. So if you want a cooler and quieter laptop, that is going to be the HP Omen, and you're going to have some elements of that maximum graphics power leading into that. Because being that the maximum graphics power, as I mentioned earlier, is only 65 watts, 
you're having some thermal throttling taking place and therefore you're getting better temperatures out of the HP Omen. So just keep that in mind. Now, while we have these laptops flipped over, let's talk about the upgrade path. For both the HP Omen and the PX13, you have one upgradable M.2 slot. That is the extent of your upgrade path for storage and RAM. The RAM is soldered to the motherboard on both devices. You can get 32 gigs of RAM on the HP Omen, but there's also a 16 gig variant. So keep in mind when you're purchasing the laptop, there's two variants. One device is the RTX 4060 with 16 gigs of RAM, and the other device is the RTX 4070 with 32 gigs of RAM. The device that I'm comparing here, you'll see both on the charts here versus the PX13. Now the PX13 comes standard with 32 gigs of RAM. It has an RTX 4050, and the device I have right before me. You can also get a 4060, and in other regions, not in the US, a 4070. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of any of the devices that I've mentioned, the different SKUs, head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. So I really appreciate it when you guys use those links. Now let's do a quick bottom cover press. You can see there's a bit more press on the HP Omen compared to the ProArt. ProArt has a bit stiffer of a bottom cover really throughout the entire part of the chassis. You can see as you get there, it starts to get really bouncy. There's some spacing there for sure on the HP Omen. Now let's go ahead and flip it over. Check out the top cover press. It, I mean, almost doesn't even press on the PX13. And you can see there is quite a bit of press on the HP Omen Transcend 14. Now, one thing to note, I cleaned both of these laptops before I started. And the PX13 has some sort of like, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know what it's called. It's some kind of coating they put on the top. And what it does is it's supposed to mitigate fingerprints. And you can see that both of these were wiped before I started. And there's fingerprints on the HP Omen and much less fingerprinting on the ProArt PX13. Now there is still a little bit, can't get away from it completely, but not as much and not as obvious as the Omen 14. So just keep that in mind if fingerprints are a big deal to you, which I know for some people they are. For some people, you think people are crazy who care about fingerprints, but that is a personal preference. So the story moves on. Now, one thing I do wanna point out before we dive deeper into these devices is that the ProArt does come with a two-in-one functionality. So you can go ahead and put it up into presentation mode. You can use it in tablet mode. You can use it in standard clamshell mode. So that is an advantage. And it also is a touchscreen, which is pen compatible with the Asus Pen 2.0. Now, I'm not going to dive super deep into the screen and the tablet mode and all that. Go ahead and watch the full dedicated review of the PX13 if you want me to dive deeper into that. I want to keep things basic on the computer comparison here. If you're like, wow, I want the PX13, but I want to learn more about pen compatibility and the Asus dial, go watch my dedicated review. That will be very helpful to you. I have a full playlist on the Asus Pro Art series. You definitely want to check that out. I'll link it up probably at the end of the video because that's where I most consistently do it. All right, I'm gonna close the laptop back down here and let's open and close the lids with one hand. Go. They both open and close nice and easily with one hand. Let's go ahead and check the screen balance in these two devices. A little bit more screen balance. The screen balance lasts a little bit longer on the HP Omen. The rigidity of the top cover gonna be about the same. Now let's go ahead and spin these two devices in and let's talk about the display. So we have both with OLED displays. The HP Omen comes with a 2880 by 1800 at 120 hertz refresh rate, a 487 nit screen brightness at 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB and 99% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 0.87 compared to the ASUS ProArt PX13 with a 2880 by 1800 at 60 hertz. So I've seen quite a few people complaining in the comment section about wanting higher refresh rate on the PX13. So that may lead you towards the HP Omen. We have a 497 nit screen brightness at 100% sRGB, 96% Adobe RGB and 99% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 0.91, okay? So as far as the screens are concerned, they are highly comparable for the color gamut range, brightness and color accuracy. However, if you want more screen real estate and you want a higher refresh rate, the HP Omen is gonna be the choice for you. However, 
Just hang tight for the performance because that's where we're going to see some differences for sure. Now, they both have a webcam along the top bezel. Here's a quick sample so you can see and hear for yourself. This is the webcam on the Asus ProArt PX13 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the HP Omen Transcend 14 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And in regards to the speaker quality, let me know which laptop you think has better speakers. Here's an audio sample for you to check out. Now, taking a look at the battery life of these two devices, the maximum graphics power being a little bit lower at 65 watts, as well as the Intel Core Ultra 9, it is a little bit more efficient than the Ryzen CPU and the higher maximum graphics power on the PX13. So for the PX13, we have 11 hours of passport productivity and then nine hours and 46 minutes of streaming video playback, followed up by Photoshop Premiere Pro playback battery life. However, getting over to the HP Omen, we have about 10 hours and 30 minutes on Passmark productivity and about 10 hours and 56 minutes on stream video playback. But then we have the seven hours for Photoshop battery life and about three hours and 44 minutes for video editing. So they're, they're really comparable. You're getting about an hour and 15 more of battery life, give or take on the, the benchmarks that I was able to run for the device. So it may be a little more advantageous to you to be more on the go with the HP Omen compared to the PX. 13. So just keep that in mind. But you notice they kind of bounce back and forth, which one was more efficient, um, depending on the test that was run. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Okay, now as we're getting to the interior of the chassis, I must say, and I say this every time I review the HP Omen, I absolutely love this keyboard. They were taking a huge risk on doing something so bold and colorful, and it got me. I know there's a lot of people that have not been enjoying this keyboard. However, for myself, I think it is a phenomenal keyboard. I love this really large shift key on the right side, nice normal size shift key on the left side, full size enter key, backspace. It is just such a nice, easy keyboard to type on. I really enjoyed it. And more than anything, it is just so cool looking. Uh, now the PX13 has a great keyboard as well. It's very comfortable, very easy to type on. I think that as far as ease of use, it's one of the easiest keyboards because there's nice spacing between the keys. You do have these nice full-size shift keys. There's really nice uh, function buttons that are easily accessible. And so overall, I think the keyboard is really good. It's just, it's so much fancier on the HP Omen and I really like that. Now, turning things to the side, let's take a look at the trackpads. You actually see that the trackpad is not that much bigger on the PX13. It is a tad bigger, but not uh, substantially. Uh, and of course you have the dial on the PX13 and you do not on the HP Omen and no touch screen where we have our touch screen and pen functionality on the PX13. So for my channel, you know, my channel talks to creative professionals. So there are some advantages definitely for the PX13 from a usability standpoint, right? You have the dial, pen functionality, you don't have that on the HP Omen. But again, watch the full review if you want to learn more about this. Now let's go ahead and give you a quick audio sample of me using both the keyboards and trackpads so you can hear what they sound like for yourself. All right, without further ado, let's get into the performance section. Now, just as a reminder, and this is gonna be really interesting because this is a 4050, this is an RTX 4060 or 4070, but don't let that jump you, jump you away, okay? Because the benchmarks are very interesting. Maximum graphics power, maximum graphics power, don't forget that. All right, so let's start out in the simulated benchmarks here. You can see that both for Geekbench single core and multi-core, the PX13 has the lead for both of these tests. Now, as we move on to Cinebench, 
single core and multi-core. You can see for the single core, the HP Omen takes a little bit of an advantage. But then as we get into multi-core, you can see that it's taken back over by the PX13. Now let's get into the creator benchmarks, real world benchmarks inside of Photoshop. You can see that we have a 8,249 from the PX13 and the top performing HP Omen is a 6,888. So it is, a strong advantage by almost 1500 points going with the PX13. Uh, just more optimized than the HP Omen, giving you a lot more ceiling, less thermal throttling clearly by the results. And so the performance is just going to be much, much stronger on the PX13 inside of Photoshop. So just keep that in mind. While looking at Autodesk 3ds Max, you can see that the PX13 is the better performer. Autodesk Maya, it switches back over the RTX 4070 version outperforms it by about 10 points. Moving on to PTC Creo, you can see the PX13 is outperforming the RTX 4060 version. However, the RTX 4070 version is a slightly better performer, but again, not by much. And as we review SolidWorks as well, the craziest part about all of this is that we have a 4050 versus a 4060 and 4070. And the performance differences are pretty nominal for these benchmarks. So just keep that in mind. Now going ahead and moving on to video editing. Let's take a look at the 4K export time. We have the PX13 at four minutes and four seconds. So this is an area where the HP Omen Transcend does have a pretty strong advantage, about a minute and a half on the export time, two minutes and 31 seconds versus the four minutes and four seconds. So that really intrigued me. I was really hoping we'd have better Premiere Pro performance. Um, four minutes is not terrible, but it's definitely not great. I mean, you can see what I've done is put some laptops without dedicated GPUs, and those are in the four minute mark. So I was kind of like, man, How's this thing gonna perform in 6K? So let's check that out now. Looking at 6K, you can see that we have a 22 minute and 35 second export time versus the HP Omen Transcend with the RTX 4070 at 19 minutes and 24 seconds. So three minutes difference, definitely a pretty substantial difference, but nothing where it's like a 30 minute export time out of the PX13. So it's still close, but I was really hoping for a bit better performance out of the PX13 for video editing. Now, moving down the line, let's take a look at the playback. Now things shape up a bit for the PX13 in regards to playback. They're much more even in regards to playback. And actually the PX13 and the, the HP Omen 14, RTX 4070 are nearly neck and neck. So as far as playback is concerned, um, I'm only showing the RTX 4070 here because it's you know the one that's more comparable. Um, as far as playback is concerned, you definitely have no advantage on either of these laptops, but the export times the HP Omen definitely has an advantage, so keep that in mind. Now, if you are a creative professional, you will find advantages if you're somebody who's looking for pen compatibility, somebody who's looking for you know the Asus dial to boost some productivity inside of creator apps, and if you're somebody working in Photoshop, you can see that that additional performance will be very advantageous to you. However, if you're looking at video editing, if you're looking at 3D modeling, if you're looking at battery life, gaming, and portability, the HP Omen is absolutely a fantastic choice. There was only the big discrepancy in Photoshop um, for the performance for the HP Omen. So really both devices are a great choice. Heading into this review, I'm not sure which one you were leaning towards, but now I'm really curious which one is the top contender for your choice. Remember, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or check the live pricing. Otherwise, click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.